Welcome to the Solid Signal Podcast. This is the week of December 10th, 2018, and I've got an interesting question for all of you. I'm kind of curious to see how you will answer it, but first I'm going to tell you how I would answer it. The question is, if you haven't figured it out from the title of this podcast, what will replace television? You know, television as a medium has been with us since the late 1940s, which is longer than many of us, most of us, have have been with us, I guess. Uh, It's been a part of all of our lives since we were pretty much born. So you have to look at television as this kind of institution that's been there and has been rolling for a long time. But will television ever end? Will there ever be an end to broadcast television? Yeah, it's beginning to look like it's possible. Not for a while. Not for a while, for sure. But eventually... It's possible that what we think of today as television, whether it's delivered by cable, satellite, or antenna, or even streaming, will cease to exist. And so first, in order to really understand when what will happen when television will end, you have to understand kind of at least how I'm defining television. And what I'm really defining television as is a, a passive experience. You stare at something and information or entertainment comes at you. That's what television is and that's what distinguishes television from video games, I suppose, is is one way of looking at it. Or the internet is another way of looking at it. And I think there will still be some sort of avenue for that where you just sit back and watch stuff, but it's not going to look like what it looks like today. And I think if we look 50 years in the future, it's, it's just going to be a very different experience. Life evolves very quickly. I think that most of us who are older couldn't possibly have imagined the way that the Internet is part of our lives today. And for those who haven't experienced that kind of massive change yet, don't worry, your time is coming. So what I think is going to replace television is augmented reality. Uh, in other words, make your own adventure, except video. I think that if you look at a lot of movies, a lot of television today, I think a lot of it is is honestly very close to video games already. I've watched a number of action movies over the last couple of weeks just to kind of get an idea of how I felt about that. And if you look at that basic structure of uh, short narratives followed by action set pieces that get progressively more and more intense, eventually leading to what could only be described as a boss battle, um, that's a video game structure. That's not really as much of a movie structure as you think it is. And I think augmented reality, putting you right into the middle of these situations and letting you make some limited decisions, that's where it's all going. Of course, if you play video games today and and look at the plotting that takes place with video games, you don't really have ultimate decision-making power in most cases. Oh, sure, there are some really kind of free-form adventures. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the new hot one. But most video games with some sort of plot still are driving you toward a particular direction. They're just having you participate in a way that straight old video won't let you. This is where I think it's going to go in 50 years. And if you personally don't think that's terribly entertaining to you, I understand. I understand because it's probably not incredibly entertaining to me either, although I have yet to see it done in such a way that it really would appeal to me. I'm not much of a video gamer myself, and so when I watch television, I'm I'm literally, I'm watching it. I'm passive. But I think the active aspect of it will continue to amp up. I don't think that we will see these gigantic shared experiences that are identical. I think that we will see some of the touchstones be identical, and yet, A lot of it will be individualized for our own experiences. This is going to allow advertisers a way to place products that makes more sense and isn't as annoying as long strings of commercials. It's also going to allow everybody to have a much more relevant experience with their entertainment. And I I think that's kind of cool in a lot of ways. I'm not sure, as I said, how it's going to work. But I think it's going to work so well that once you see it, Once you experience it, you won't want to go back to just plain watching. It will be that good. And when I say augmented reality right now, in 2018, almost 2019, 
People think of looking through their phones or using large goggles or what have you to try to get that information. I am certainly hoping that display technology will change in the next 50 years so that we don't have to wear these gigantic goggles. Of course, uh, if you look at today's science fiction, everybody's banking on some sort of contact lens-based solution that's going to be able to show everybody what they want to see uh, that does kind of limit it for folks who don't wear contact lenses. But I think that you will see something that's far, far less intrusive than the reality goggles that we have today, far less silly looking than Google Glass and just plain better overall. I mean, come on, if you think about it, look back 50 years. In 1968, could you have imagined having these giant televisions on the wall in every home for a tiny, tiny amount of money? And more importantly, could you have imagined having tens of thousands of pieces of individual content available to you on demand whenever you wanted and curated based on your own desires and your own watching history? Oh, yeah, I mean, some people might have forecast it, but the average person, they wouldn't have known what to do with it. Keep in mind, in 1968, a lot of people didn't type. I mean, nobody used a mouse. I mean, monitors were not something you'd ever see. I mean, they had barely been invented. So... We're looking at a quantum leap far beyond what we saw in the last 50 years because, remember, the pace of improvement is only quickening. As it is, I think that the future is extremely exciting, and while we should be sad to think that we're going to lose certain things, um, there are other things that are going to come in and make it even better. There was a time, about 50 years ago, that people said, oh, radio shows going away, that's terrible because... You know, the radio show lets you really imagine what's going on. It's a personal experience. It helps exercise the mind where television is just stupid. It shows you everything. And yet television took over. And most folks don't terribly care that radio shows went away. Of course, they've kind of come back with podcasts if you kind of think about it. But still, television right now is dominant. That's not a bad thing. It's just a temporary thing. Anyway, folks, just my two cents. I look forward to talking to you next week on the next edition of the Solid Signal Podcast.